Good evening. A man accused in the brutal homicide of a pregnant Amish woman makes his first appearance in court. Sean Cranston had a preliminary hearing in Crawford County this afternoon where he faced criminal counts of homicide, homicide of an unborn child, burglary, and criminal trespassing. Chelsea Swift was in the courtroom today and is live from Crawford County with our story tonight. Chelsea. Jen and Sean, that's right. That preliminary hearing for murder suspect Sean Cranston is ongoing, lasting more than three hours. Several witnesses testifying about the events that took place on the day 23-year-old Rebecca Byler was killed last month. 52-year-old Sean Cranston appearing in Crawford County Court for a preliminary hearing. Cranston is charged with criminal homicide and three other charges, including criminal homicide of an unborn child. Several witnesses testifying about the day 23-year-old Rebecca Byler was murdered. That killing taking place on February 26th inside her home on Fish Flats Road in Sparta Township. According to members of law enforcement, her two young children were home at the time. Rebecca Byler's husband, 24-year-old Andy Byler, testifying that he was shocked to find her when he came home just before 12.30 that afternoon. Andy Byler also testifying he did not know Sean Cranston. However, other members of the Amish community testifying, one stating she knew Cranston and that he was a driver who hauled her to her friend's house in December of last year. Sean Cranston's neighbor, Jonathan Santry, who also hauled Amish, testified that Cranston's red Jeep Patriot had been missing on the morning of Rebecca Byler's death. Several members of Pennsylvania State Police testifying they were able to get in touch with Amish who had used Cranston as a driver and were able to obtain a cell phone number, which then later led them to finding his address in Corey, Pennsylvania. Now, that preliminary hearing is still ongoing. It started around 1.40 this afternoon, and the court continues to hear from members of law enforcement about forensic evidence that has been collected but has not been tested yet. We'll have more on this coming up at 5.30. We'll send it back to you in the studio, Jen. All right, Chelsea Swift reporting live tonight in Crawford County. Thank you, Chelsea.